Today is the 4th of January 2024. Yeah, 4th of January 2024. I'm about to go do my chemotherapy training. I'm uh, coming up to seven weeks post open heart surgery, but I also collected prostate cancer as part of this trip to the hospital. Uh, spent seven weeks in, uh, in the hospital and uh, so now I've got to deal with some of that. The heart issues are all done, uh, just follow-ups with the doctors uh, going forward. And uh, yeah, but I, uh, I have an oncologist that wants to really knock this thing on the head, so I've got to do six sessions, three weeks apart, starting tomorrow, uh, chemotherapy. Um, I don't have on me the, the name of the actual drug I'm doing. I take, uh, I take a drug at lunchtime the day before, which I took today, and uh, I'll take the, one of the same tablet on Saturday, because today's Thursday, uh, so it's the day after the chemotherapy. Uh, take another one of those tablets, and uh, then wait three weeks to uh, rinse and repeat. Uh, obviously, I haven't had chemotherapy before, so I have no idea how my body's going to react. It did very well out of the open heart surgery. I was back up on my feet and had full clearance at three weeks. So if it can take that sort of approach and be that good at it, um, maybe it won't be too hard, but uh, I don't know that I'd get that lucky two times in a row. So uh, yeah, that's the situation now. Um, tomorrow we start the chemotherapy. So I'm gonna do this vlog uh, of I guess each each of the chemotherapy sessions, uh, and um, yeah, I'll do it as a mini series for my for this YouTube channel. So, what's your expectations of the actual process of chemo? Expectations. Well, I'd expect I'm going to get a cannula put in somewhere, and that they're going to pump something into me for three hours. Uh, and really, it's just. Uh, a wait and see as to how I'm going to react and the reaction could change from session to session. Uh, some people don't get anything at all, some people don't get anything till the third session, some get horribly sick after the first session. So I'm trying not to set myself any expectations so that I'm not um, overconfident or underconfident going into future sessions I guess. So I just have to play it as play feeling, it. feeling fairly positive then. Um, yeah, I've got to take in a, a fairly positive attitude, uh, like I have done with uh, with everything else, uh, in particular the open heart surgery, which is pretty scary. But um, yeah. Okay, if you react really badly, so your sim your symptoms coming out of out of the first lot of chemo really knocks you around. What advice are you going to give to yourself? Um, you're just going to have to grin and bear it, sunshine. I think that's... don't know whether it would get any easier. Maybe you can hope for that um, as your body gets gets used to the treatment. I don't know. I, I'm hoping that isn't the case because uh, I like to give a positive outlook. But, um, yeah, if it knocks me about a bit, then I'll just have to deal with that. And uh, part, of, part of helping with that is this process that we're doing here where we're documenting it so it'll give me a better idea of from session to session and hopefully putting that out on YouTube might help somebody else who's in the same sort of situation and they can watch the change over time I guess. Okay. What's the advice you have for your wife? Uh, tough it out honey, it'll, <laughs> it'll get better. Um, we're yeah, in this together. We're in this together extremely supported my, I don't know how I would have got through the first part of this uh, without my wife it's she's just been a rock and um, been there every step of the way and uh, yeah, I don't think I could have done it as well I guess I would have had no choice but it would not have been as, as easy as it was okay so any other random thoughts you've got before we go into this court education? Maybe yeah, we I'd can... like to know what this is all about. I guess I'll do a, I'll probably do a post-training blog yep. to give you a bit of an idea, but I've never heard of this before. So 
I believe it's on things like hygiene, so I have no idea. So this, I guess, could be interesting. Just have to, um, just have to go along with it and see what happens. Okay. All right. That's thoughts for now. We'll track back in a bit later. Here we go.